Hello class, today's lesson is on a very important polymer called polyhydroxyalkanoate, commonly known as PHA. PHA is a thermoplastic, which means that when it's at a really high temperature, it melts and can be molded into various forms. It then solidifies when cooled. PHA is a plastic polymer that is part of the polyester family. A polyester is a polymer that has an ester functional group and its main repeating chemical unit which is called a monomer. The monomer is shown here. What makes PHA so interesting is the way that's made. PHA is made naturally from bacteria. Scientists make large bacteria farms where they deprive them of nutrients and give them large amounts of carbon sources instead. The bacteria then stores the extra carbon in the form of PHA, which can be seen as the strings in the picture. These are then harvested and produced into the plastic form. What is really neat is that some of the bacteria can even produce PHAs from waste. So, what are some properties that make it so important? Well, to start, it's non-toxic and biocompatible, meaning that it's safe to use in medical conditions. PHA is used in stitches, slings, and even as bone plates and skin substitutes. Some other important properties of PHA are that it is biodegradable, doesn't dissolve in water, and can withstand a lot of UV light. So, Outside of the medical world, where is PHA being used? Well, you can see it in many single-use packaging for day-to-day -day items. Finally, another unique application of PHA is in agricultural foils, since it can withstand water and UV radiation from the large amounts of sunlight it's exposed to. In case you're still wondering what makes PHA better than the other polymers out there, I'll sum it up for you. It's eco-friendly, both in the way that it's made and how it decomposes since it's produced from waste and is easily biodegradable. And lastly, since it's a thermoplastic, it doesn't have a set structure to it. Meaning, it well, that's all for today's lecture. Hope you've been paying attention, because we're having a quiz tomorrow.